This is Gator Pit Custom Barbecue Pits. I know it's a little noise in the background, but it is a welding shop, so I apologize for the noise happening. I don't want to stop my guys' production, so bear with me, and hopefully uh, you guys can hear me. Here we have our Backyard Classic Chef model. This is a quarter-inch thick wall, about 20 diameter, about 32 inches long on the main chamber, with a 20 inch by 20 inch by 36 inch tall upright that is also constructed with quarter inch thick wall plate and we have a 20 inch by 20 inch round firebox that is constructed out of quarter inch wall as well this pit comes standard with a full wraparound angle frame front shelf two temperature gauges one in each door you get stainless steel handles on all of your doors you get our heavy duty five inch all weather casters you have a lower angle framed storage or log rack. It's framed in two inch angles. We don't frame anything any less in size than using our two inch angles on this uh, large model. You have an adjustable smokestack. This particular model, the customer ordered a birdhouse type smokestack. He also ordered a ball valve that you see attached to the two standard uh, one and a half inch grease drain that comes with standard a threaded cap. So in this pit that you're looking at right now, the only thing that is optional that is on this pit that you see is our birdhouse smokestack. It comes with a standard flat top dampener with a handle. And it comes with a one and a half inch grease drain with a removable threaded cap. This one shows the ball valve attached to it. The casters, everything else, the temp gauges, the stainless steel handles, the wraparound shelf, all quarter inch thick steel, angle framed out. And when I open up the doors, you're fixing to see we have six angle frame sliding food trays. They're framed out in three quarter inch angles, not half inch, like most of our competitors do, if our competitors even frame these trays out. The upright comes standard with four angle frame sliding food trays. And we're gonna open up the doors here in a minute. Let me just walk around this pit to show it to you. It's a beautifully constructed pit. It's Gator Pit Craftsman, Gator Pit Quality, fully buffed welds. Look at the ends, buffed out, gator pit hinges, dial style adjustable air vent, stainless steel handles, fully flanged doors on the firebox doors you see. Our wraparound shelf over the firebox, use the flat top for heating uh, beans, barbecue sauce, water, whatever you're gonna put up there to get hot. You get a lot of hit, uh, heat coming off that firebox. We figured you might as well use it. You've got your full length angle framed front shelf, the entire length of the pit as you can see, plenty of shelf space, quarter inch thick doors, including the upright, and I say that a lot of my competitors will do this in an eighth or uh, 12 gauge, 10 gauge, or 3 16 plate. We actually use quarter inch thick steel. We make our own hinges, they're heavy duty hinges, as you can see here. You won't have to worry about them binding, breaking, coming off your pit. Again, this particular pit has the optional birdhouse smokestack. It's a pretty cool, unique feature. Really doesn't function any differently than the standard flat top adjustable stack, but this just adds that much more of a custom touch to it. And you can see the stainless steel handle that comes with it. Rotate the handle and the whole top pivots. Side carry handle to roll this thing around. Again, your two inch angle frame log rack, your heavy duty casters. These are an all-weather, heavy-duty caster. They won't break, crack, peel, discolor due to UVs. They have greasable zerks on them or bearings. Again, your lower log rack is long, it's big, the length of the pit, the food chambers. You have your standard gator pit temperature gauge. Fully flanged doors all the way around. These are not stitched flanges. They're fully welded. Nice, beautiful welds all the way around. My guys take their time and build these pits with quality. We don't rush them, we don't mass produce them. We take our time and we build it the way you expect it from Gator Pit. True quality, custom quality, handmade barbecue pits. Open up the door here, look it inside. You'll see the full flange around it on all four sides. I say all four sides because again, a lot of my competitors only do three sides being the left, the right, and the bottom of the door lid. We flange it on the top as well. And we also put what I call drip bars on the inside. These 
are exactly what they are, drip bars. You get a lot of moisture building up in these gator pits. That's what they're made to do, not to dry your meat out. Those drip bars keep the water on the lid that builds up and rolls it back into the pit as opposed to coming out the door seams. Beautiful cut door seams, no jagged edges. Nice smooth cuts. Again, my guys take their time and do it right. Here you see the lower sliding food tray. Slides in and out, it hangs in place. Makes it easy to access your meat in the back. You've got a full size upper sliding food tray. Again, these trays are framed out in three quarter inch angle, not half inch angles. If any of my competitors even frame these out, much less make them sliding standard. Inside, you've got dual stainless steel handles on the upright. You got one inch flanging all the way around the door seams to keep it nice and tight. Inside here, you've got your four angle frame sliding food trays. Again, a quarter inch thick door. Drip bars on the inside of it as well, nice and tight. Flanging all the way around. The drip bars are heavy duty hinges, locking doors, our handles that we make here at Gator Pit. Again, this is quarter inch thick steel. Quarter inch plate all the way around. Easy access sliding food trays. You can see how that tray slides, it just hangs right out. Very easy to access your meat. Again, we put a tab at the lower tray so that you can easily access it and grab it. The other trays don't require it. We don't put it on there, and I do that for a reason. You can grab the bottom and slide it out just like I did. These trays above the lower tray, if you put a tab here on these trays like you do down here, you can see that that can actually hang and rip your foil or your foil pan. So we only put it on the bottom tray because that's the only way you're going to be able to slide this tray in and out is because of the handle, because it is on the lower seam. The rest of the trays, we do not do that. So you don't have to worry about busting your foil, tearing your foil, sli uh, slicing your foil pans. Again, quarter inch thick steel, upright, quarter inch thick main chamber, quarter inch thick firebox. This is true gator pit quality, guys. Beautiful pit, beautiful welds, outstanding construction. Handles that you won't ever have to replace, they won't rot, they won't rust, they won't break off. Getting into the firebox, you have a heavy duty angle frame wood charcoal grate, fire grate. This is quarter inch thick steel expanded metal, it's reinforced in the middle to prevent it from sagging gives it longevity over years of service. Again, we make everything heavy, we make everything commercial quality, we build it to last. Quarter inch thick steel, flange doors, keeps your heat and smoke in, nice and tight, no gaps. Close this door up here. If you look, the camera shows it, you don't see any gaps in my door seams. These pits are as tight as you can make them. A lot of my competitors have a hard time fitting these doors, mainly because they don't want to take the time that it takes to do it right. They'd rather cut some doors into a piece of pipe, hinge it, stitch well some flanging around it to make it look like it's a quality pit. In reality, it doesn't even compare to Gator Pit. I'm Rich Robin, I'm owner, Gator Pit of Texas, we're in Houston, Texas, call me at 713-896-0144, I'll be happy to speak with you about any of our great Gator Pits. This is the Backyard Classic Chef model, this is a nice smoker for the backyard, small catering, give me a call.